All right, this is Iris. She's 34. Virginia, she's a cancer. Do you have any kids? Four. 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 <laughs> four. Yes. Four at 34. <laughs> yes. Come on now. How old are your kids? Um, 17, 8, 14, and 4. 4, 8, 14, and 17. Okay. Yes. How many baby fathers you got? Um, I have a baby daddy and an ex-husband. You have a baby daddy and an ex-husband. How long were you married? Yes. Uh, seven years. What happened? Um, it just didn't work out. Why not? Uh, he was crazy. What you mean? Like mental health issues. Yeah, mental health issues? Yes. When did you find that out? Um, the signs were always there. I just ignored them. But, um, uh, the last straw, that was it. I've been divorced since May of 2022. You just got divorced. Um, it's almost two years. Almost two years. Just. Yes. Yeah, almost two years. So you divorced May of 2022. So who who what kids he got? Which which age? Um, he has the eight year old and the four year old. And the fourteen year old and the seventeen year old, which when you was younger, I'd take it, of course. Yes. Okay. So you were you were twenty when you had the fourteen year old and what were you uh um, like 17, I guess. 17 when you had the 17. Yeah. 17, I guess. You know when you had that baby in high school. And secondly, you was married. You got four kids. We can't keep saying this. He was crazy. That ain't you crazy. I'm looking at you. So <laughs> you, know, you cannot come back into the market with four kids. That's just... <sighs> well, you, here we go. So the sister looked like she got it. Let's let's give her a prop. She got her natural hair. All right, she got her natural hair. That's good. That's it. What's that? What are we talking? About? <laughs> she, she ain't. We we doing the nonstop Kendra cam. She ain't blowed out, huh? Huh? Yeah, four huh? kids. <laughs> uh the natural hair and the. uh Resemblance of fitness don't cancel it, cancel out four kids. Is no. that a good enough? Maybe so. It's looking like she probably snapped herself into shape and left her husband because he was crazy. Because mm, he was crazy. That and I, I can't even say we keep capping. <laughs> like, you can't come up here and talk about the man or woman you had a kid with and be like, oh, she or he was crazy, he or she was a narcissist. It ain't, it ain't becoming. Oh. So we're going to let her land this plane. Shout out to Dead Star for the $5 super chat. Says she ready to turn around already. Kendra Cam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She got she four ready. kids. She got to present the market with. I don't uh, blame you for that. Smart. Smart as she can be. She's smart as, let me, she is smart as she can be in this situation. <laughs> and she said, I got a baby daddy and an ex-husband. Y'all better put some spec on my name. You got a, you got a, no correction. She got a baby daddy and a crazy ex husband. Oh. You know what that said about her? That's by the same guy. Yes. Okay. That didn't work out. And then you divorce and marry. Okay. All right. So, what type of man are you looking for today? Um, I am looking for someone generous, someone who accepts my kids. Um, someone kind, someone with great character, someone with integrity, someone that's truthful, um, and no mental health issues. Definitely. That should have been number one. No mental health issues. I get it. I get it. You've been through, <laughs> you've been through a lot. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you this. If I'm a man and I see you got four kids, you know, and an ex with mental health issues. What if I'm scared of this man with these mental health issues? What if I don't um, want him going crazy on me? Well, he's he's not around. He pays child support, but he's not around. Um, both of my children's fathers pay child support. I'm cordial with the first one. The second one is just not around, so that won't be an issue. But y'all just divorced in 2022. Almost you, two years ago, yes. So what you mean he ain't around? He's not around. He's not involved. 
Is he in Virginia? Uh, I'm not sure, but there won't be any issues with that. So. Okay. All right. And then the other one, y'all cool. When the one from with the other two children, y'all, y'all, yes. y'all in okay space, and he's he pays child support. Does he see them kid? Does he see the kid? He does. Yes. Okay. He he's live in active. Virginia. He live in yes. Virginia. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. There it is. All right. So what type? Uh, you told me what type of man you're looking for. Does he have to uh, look a certain way? Um, he does not have to look a certain way. I'm very open. I'm open to different races, um, ethnicities. So no, they just cannot be shorter than me. We can be the same height, but not shorter than me. I'm about how, five five. How tall are you? Okay, same height, but not shorter than you. Yes. Do you care if you put on heels and you're taller than them? Um, no, that's okay. Okay, there it is. And Bonquisha says she ready to date out. She ready to dump this whole mess onto Brad, Chad, Enrique, and Muhammad and them. Four kids. <laughs> so I, maybe she think her body is that bad. Because what else could she think she coming with? Real rap. Like, it's got to be. Like, this kuda kata, this body is given. So Brad and Chad and, and Ahmad, they're going to take these four, these four chillings. I, this dude that married you. I'm dead serious. Like, and, and the sisters is coming out more and more on these social media platforms, you know, uh, uncovering y'all lies, letting it be known that Nug Nug this don't turn out crazy. He was crazy from the very moment you met him. He was. Y'all need to stop. You just got tired of it or the hunch got lackluster. That's what it be, man. He was crazy. Y'all trauma bonded, whatever. Y'all was some kind of unholy matrimony. And the hunching got stale, and then y'all grew to part. <laughs> so, this is bad. She and I said this last time should these women have some type of counseling before they decide to leave their husband mm. when you got all these kids? So, you should not be, I'm tired, you should not be able to leave so easily. There should be like a five, 10 year process. You can't just get up and walk away. You got all these kids. There you go. And that's why I think they do for a while. Like before you get divorced with, with people with bread, they make you get separated first for a year to see what happened. It's almost like they try, but Bonquisha Nug Nug don't go through these steps because they ain't got enough bread involved. So they just be splitsville. Well, they ain't they- Nug 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 ain't walking away. It's Bonk, it's Bon, it's her. Bonquisha need to have these classes. They need to let Bonquisha know in particular, Bonquisha, you it are beat up with two, three, four, five kids. For you to come back into the date market is absolute negligence, and and it's gonna be a failure. And they need to let her know. There you go. I I love it. It sounds like it's a lot of money to be made in that uh in that market. I'm here for it. I don't mind telling Bone Quisha that don't do it. Say it's your husband. Oh my goodness, I couldn't admit what's that like post marriage counseling. <laughs> yeah. So Sheesh. the way they be leaving these marriages with small babies. And come back talking about all right. Well, I'm back on the market yep. and I need a healed man. And I'm, I'm ready to date out too. I'm yeah, to generous four bastards. I got four bastards with me. Yeah, and he got to be kind. Kind, my man got to be understanding, generous, and kind. That sounds like a dude that's gonna get knocked upside his head. Like, that's crazy. Like, why why y'all be sitting here coming up here capping begging for this sweet dude that y'all don't want? Y'all don't want that kind-hearted brother. Or maybe y'all do. Take advantage of him. Interrupted fun and mid to terrible vagina. <laughs> see? That part. All of the above. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Your own kids. And it's known amongst married couples. Your kids is the biggest, you know, cock blocks on the face of this earth. <laughs> and now you got somebody else's kids doing it? That's that's a different vibe. Like, like I said, they're my babies. I get it. But Ninja, your babies can't be over here. They're going to be sleeping outside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you said, four kids, two baby daddies. The one she says still active. And that's a shout out to my guy, Jay Prince, where he say the baby daddy can always get them cheeks. Always. Always. That's Bone Quisha's cry. And dang there, every other baby daddy that I heard it from, you can always get these cheeks. <laughs> that's sick. Sick. Uh, black pills ain't cool. 
And I see Rachat come back through. Money, 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 money. With the fitty ball. He ain't playing no games tonight. He says, stop. He says, Kendra Cam, and on to the next. It's over for her. Brad don't want her. He says, don't want that delusion, Keisha. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You know what? She thinks she's so fine. Like y'all sister was saying, she come up here with that, with that, uh, with that cat, cat front and center. She need to go straight to the bioluminescence after this Kendra Cam. So here we go. We're gonna try to catch the Kendra Cam. Shout out to Divine Photos. Says she must have mental issues, mental health issues to not realize she's undateable to a lot of men having four kids. Brad and Enrique gonna look past you and them kids after he glazed a bun, probably. Yeah. Yeah, she put on her, her sexy makeup and all that. Yeah, Enrique gonna get up in them cheeks and say au revoir. <laughs> we were you, whatever you tell her. <laughs> oh, here we go. We'll try to catch this Kendra Cam. All right, come on, in the gym. Four kids where? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, Let them kids. know. So I'm gonna tell you. Nah. You see what I'm saying? All right, come on, in the gym. Four kids where? And she got a what is that? A cat? Cat. Oh, yeah, hell to no. <laughs> Four kids in the cat. It's over. It's over. Only cat they want is that kitty cat, that box. <laughs> yeah. That no. No. Shout out to my guy Theo Coop. But she don't know. Nah. She got four kids in a cat. This ain't it. I don't know where she at. She ain't in ATL, but four kids out here talking. Want a kind, generous man. You got four kids and you want a man to come in. Uh, shower you with gifts and trinkets, four kids deep. Just imagine that. Ooh. All right, come on in the gym, four kids. Where? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, Let them know. Go ahead, twerk it a little bit. No, okay. <laughs> you know, I had, I had to try it. Okay. I'll save that for my man. Save it, daddy. I'm playing with you. Save it. Please. Um. So well, there you go. Zach been doing that to him. Some of them do it, some of them don't. So that's like a test. I love it. Shout out to Zach. See that? I knew I, I'm a fan of Zach. Say, Zach, say, twerk something. Zach, you are a pioneer <laughs> in your own sense, brother. Glory to you. <laughs> there you go. So, Von Quisha said, no. I'm going to say that for Nug Nug. <laughs> yeah. Fair answer. Respectable answer, Von Quisha. <laughs> And shout out to EJ Uno, the five dollars. He says, "Women, you have kids means a significant part of you is dedicated to taking care of another ninja's business." Hmm. In insulting to the man, they all come up here and demand. He says, "Look like weight loss surgery." Yeah, she talking about she in the gym heavy. All these kids, she she showing that body, y'all. She excited. Mm. Just just ready to hunch. Yeah, what, what do they say? Fear of missing out. FOMO. Good luck. Fear of missing out on meat. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is to here. Four kids. I told y'all we're making examples tonight. Why? As we say, Mr. Walker, she left her husband and, and decided to come back into the dating market. Wrong move. Just, just from this, you left your husband. You, you got... You were fortunate and lucky enough to get married to a man if you already had one bastard child. When when one out of she had two, five, she had two kids yeah. when he came in. Two and of them. gave him and gave him two gave him two. And then left of them. While the baby was two. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, no mercy. It's easy for that one. Four kids. She got she two for two. And I would imagine if Mr. Wright come into her life, she, she going to inevitably be three for three. See what I'm saying? And then, see, here we go. So a guy come in. Let's say the guy comes in that she likes and says, I want to marry you and take care of all your kids, and I'm generous. Here's all my money. I'm stupid. Let's say he comes. Now, should she be requiring monogamy from this man? She already she already two 
two for two. All right. Now, third guy come in and marry her. Should she requ require that dude to be monogamous, considering all the baggage she coming with? That's a question. Hey, come on, people. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. 